question that came up a long time ago never really got around to and it was a great question someone once asked me you know how to find a positive signal on voltage because you hook one end up to your negative and then you hook your other end up to your positive and if you see voltage you know you turn your your probe to uh, to voltage and if you get voltage on it then you know there's voltage there and that's how you know what's your positive wire but how do you know if a wire should be getting voltage and it's not or if it's a ground wire so I'll show you an easy way to figure out what is a ground wire without looking at any schematics and you'll always be able to figure out what's a ground wire or if it's a power wire that's shorted to ground or a ground wire that's shorted with power uh, it really goes either way okay so I have it set to uh, to DC voltage right now I'm just gonna probe this map light connector just because it's available first thing that you want to do is find a good ground I usually go with a nut that's over here in the drivers uh, in the door hinge there's a, a bolt that is not painted just pure metal and that usually serves as a good ground signal. And then I'll go and I'll touch these wires, and now I'm getting 12.11 volts. So I already know blue wire with the red stripe is my positive volt. Now you would assume that the other wire is going to be your negative. It's not always going to be the case. That could be another positive wire, and then the negative is fed directly through the body somehow, just kind of like the uh, kind of like the dome light. Never assume that a two-wire harness is going to have a positive and a negative both could be positive or both could be ground so an easy way to detect if you have ground is continuity turn your meter to continuity make sure that you get a beeping signal you touch your negative probe to ground actually it could be either way continuity doesn't matter but i always go you know best practice touch that to ground and if this is a ground signal it should be uh, the green wire with the orange stripe so that should be this if it's a ground it's gonna beep okay so that's a ground circuit I can even use this thing here because this is grounded out uh, this key cylinder I can even touch this key cylinder and this and it should still give me a ground okay so I know that this is also ground now you could go outside to your battery terminal, you could go anywhere on your chassis, any ground on your car is connected. The ground signal that you get here is connected everywhere on your car. So if you get continuity ground here and then you touch this ground using continuity anywhere on the car, any metal that's grounded on the car, that's how you find a ground. That's how you find a ground circuit. You, the next question might be, uh, well, what if it's a power wire that is shorted to ground? Same thing. If you know that this power wire should be getting power, but you're getting continuity to ground on it, it means it's shorted to ground somewhere. Somehow, somewhere, two wires are touching, and then one of those wires is touching ground. It's touching the chassis, touching someplace that it should not be touching. So I just figured that's a quick tip on how to find ground circuits how you tell if a circuit is grounded or not there's a lot of videos out there that will show you how you find your 12 volt signal or an accessory there's a lot of videos out there that show you how to find voltage car there's not a lot of videos out there that will tell you well how do I figure out which one's ground or not I can hook up a stereo that has 12 different signals and I can figure out eventually which one's ground which one's power which one goes to the left rear speaker or the right rear speaker or the right front speaker or the left front speaker all with using a multimeter because you can test where those signals go okay all you need is a is a multimeter and you don't even need a great multimeter at that the first multimeter that I ever had was like a fifteen dollar multimeter that I got at Walmart so multimeters are an invaluable tool for your car and I thought that was just a, a, a neat little quick tip that I could share because I'm going to be going into a lot of diagnostic videos in the future and I just wanted to lay the groundwork, lay the basics on how you find a ground circuit. It is just as easy to find a ground circuit as it is a power circuit. You just have, it's just a different test. Use continuity test to find ground and use voltage test to find your power wires.